Hello everyone. I hope that all of you are fine. Again, uh, we are going to prepare the precise statement of profit or loss account like what we have done for uh, the statement of financial position. You have collected all the detailed data of uh, the statement of profit or loss uh, statement. So now what we are going to do, we are going to take only the uh, total items and the important items which we will be using for uh, preparing our financial plan. Okay, so like before, we create one worksheet, then we copy the content of the statement of profit or loss statement. Okay, we can uh, use Control C, and then everything will be copied from this worksheet. Now select the whole worksheet, the whole of the new worksheet, and then uh, press Control V. Okay, uh, and now you have got a button uh, you can click and uh, select values and source formatting so that we don't have any formula from the previous worksheet we want to get rid of previous formulas uh, now we uh, rename the worksheet as p p for precise okay p s p l enter now all the contents of the s p l worksheet is copied to the uh, PSPL worksheet but without any formula now what we are going to do is uh, we will uh, actually uh, delete the unnecessary columns and rows as we have done before uh, for the statement of financial position okay so now let me select all then click on hide and going to delete all these columns which are not necessary delete okay uh, now we will exclude the rows that are not containing the major items uh, in in my case i did not type in all the data so you cannot see those okay you can only see the total that i have clicked well so I will do it first because you are already familiar if you have done this for the statement of financial position uh, we have a total operating other operating income okay we only need the total of the selling general and administrative expense so i'm going to delete the interim items total other operating profit then we deduct we delete the unnecessary items in fact we have a total finance income total finance costs uh, okay so these two items should be here because because we may have to treat them separately profit before tax we keep profit before tax remember although the tax items are not in the white uh, sell but still we have to keep it because uh, we must show the income tax that is in fact a major item okay now we also don't have anything in other therefore we have total comprehensive income but for our planning purpose you know we can we can only keep up to profit after tax i think that would be enough Now a little bit formatting that I'm going to do uh, as I have done for the statement of financial position. So I don't think I have to show it again. I will come back after I have completed doing so.
well the statement of profit or loss is uh, looking good now now we have to make sure that the sum and the differences are not in amounts rather in formula so here we uh, here for example the gross profit should be the difference between total revenue and total cost of sales therefore we select the cell and press equal then total revenue minus total cost okay now select this cell and then select the adjacent cells by pressing sh shift and right arrow key okay and then then press ctrl r so that the formula is copied in the adjacent cells uh, so let us check the gross profit of uh, 12 in the formula bar we can see it is not amount it is f7 minus f8 and if we check with the statement of profit or loss uh, then we will see for 2012 yeah it's the same three four four seven one three two three four four seven one three two okay so now uh, for operating profit the operating profit should be equal to the gross profit plus other operating income minus total selling administrative and general expense minus other operating expenses okay and using the same method we copy the formula in the adjacent cells and let us check 2014 this time it should be 3778 the operating profit and we can see that the operating profit is 3778 in 2014 that's great now uh, profit before tax should be equal to operating profit plus finance income minus finance cost okay now let us copy the cell uh, copy the formula uh, we have got it okay now the profit after tax should be equal to profit before tax minus tax so again copy the formula by pressing ctrl r okay now let us have a final check uh, in the last year 2000 in the earliest year 2014 it is uh, 1485055 1, so our precise statement of profit or loss is ready for our analysis thank you very much